might be given the floor now to Carla Pietro, who is assistant professor at this university, and she will introduce you the project we have dealt with, the national judges on the state. Carla, the floor is yours. that before starting the, the first session, it would have been interesting to give you more substantial information on the background of this uh, uh, conference. And this is because this conference is the result of a, a, a project awarded by the European Commission, which started more than one year, uh, was started more than uh, one, year, one year ago, <laughs> by uh, Tilburg University uh, in uh, collaboration with three more partner universities. As Peter said, they are the um, University of Antwerp, the University of Bologna, and the Vienna University of Economics and uh, Business. And uh, um, so it was a, a quite, uh, the main objective of this project, this is important to say, it was indeed to enhance the application of fiscal state aid law uh, by national judges. It was therefore a quite uh, relatively long uh, way through uh, which academics and uh, uh, judges from four different member states, <coughs> also with the European uh, Commission, discussed not only the interpretation and the uh, application of fiscal state aid law, but also the role of national judges within the EU and within the, uh, internal, uh, the internal market. We concretely uh, analyzed and uh, uh, evaluated the uh, limits, the, the, the uncertainties, the difficulties which uh, still affect uh, the, the competence of uh, uh, national judges. And therefore we had uh, the, uh, the possibility to verify that these problems do not only derive from the objective difficulty in uh, applying some state aid concept, and mainly the difficulty for national judges in conducting the prima facie evaluation in terms of a lawfulness without uh, uh, overlapping the competencies of the, uh, the, European, the European Commission. But, uh, uh, we, we realized, we, we verified that, uh, in fact, in uh, uh, some cases, these problems uh, also were uh, created, or at least also the Court of Justice contributed to create this uh, uh, problem. For example, uh, in, the, in the self case, by uh, reorienting the scope of the standstill uh, clause, substantially towards the protection of the uh, internal market more than towards the effectiveness of now Article 108, Paragraph uh, 3, uh, the Court of Justice uh, rendered certainly uh, less clear the competence of, uh, of national judges on the basis of what parameters should national judges uh, decide that uh, it is more appropriate to order recovery even after a positive decision of the, uh, of the Commission. And at the same time, uh, the development of the notion of legitimate expectations in terms of uh, rigorous application, uh, rigorous exception to the application of Article 108, Paragraph 3, uh, gives little certainty to national judges on when to apply, when to recognize legitimate expectations. The competence of national judges cannot uh, be based exclusively on the possibility of referring preliminary questions to, uh, to the Court of Justice. Um, guaranteeing autonomy to national judges is also an important way in order to guarantee efficiency and uh, effectiveness to the system of state aid law according to, to the wishes of uh, the European Commission. The starting point of the project was, uh, the higher, uh, was represented by the higher responsibility that uh, uh, member states have, and consequently judges, national judges have, uh, as a consequence of the, the amendments to both the block exemption regulation 
and uh, uh, the de minimis regulation. And this starting point necessarily brought us to discuss the notion of fiscal state aid, also in the light of the most uh, recent decisions of the European uh, Commission. The problems faced under uh, national law in order to guarantee an um, immediate and uh, effective recovery and in general, indeed, the protection of individual rights under, uh, under, national, uh, under national law. Many answers have been uh, given, but uh, certainly there are still many questions which are, uh, which are open. And the need to answer this question is at the origin of this uh, conference uh, uh, today, because indeed there are some issues that need to be discussed among, amongst different interlo interlocutors. And for this reason today we have not only the European Commission, judges indeed, and academics, but we also have representatives of uh, uh, member states, we have tax professionals, and indeed we have, uh, we have uh, uh, taxpayers. In fact, discussing the, uh, the role and the competencies of national judges implies a reflection on some of the fundamental aspects of uh, the structure of the, uh, the, 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 the European Union. And uh, today, while uh, discussing state aid uh, control, indeed we will uh, reflect on, uh, uh, the re on <coughs> fundamental issues like the function and functioning of the internal market, the role of uh, uh, member states within the internal market, the relationship between national and EU competencies, but uh, uh, Indeed, also the relationship between market and non-market values uh, within the, 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 European, the European Union. And certainly the role of uh, national uh, judges through the protection of individual rights may be significant in balancing opposite values. Indeed.